With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a point on your model and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler point menu. In here, locate the split action. With the split action selected, you'll see you have two targets, point and ring, and a series of modifiers down and below. Now when using this split point action, you just hover over a point on your model and just click and drag. It is going to split that point into this nice cylindrical shape. Now this is handy when creating holes on your model based on a center point. Now with this option, you have a few different features. So we can change how the center is kept, if it is kept as all quads or if it's actually triangulated. So as we generate this out with all quads, you can see each of these individual areas is kept a quad polygon. Now if we come back in and change this to triangulate center, and now we do that same split action, you'll notice that each one of these has now been generated as triangles and each triangle is now focused on that center point. Other options you have here is the actual crease ring and do not crease. And when you actually apply this function, it's going to determine if creasing will be applied around the edges. And finally, you have a regroup ring or do not regroup. And this corresponds to the actual polygrouping that will be applied to the ring after it is created. So coming across this option here and dragging out with it turned off, you will get the same polygroup for this new geometry as you had originally. Now one thing nice about this point option here is it works with this ring function. So when you're actually dragging this out to generate the cylinder shape, you may not have enough topology around here to get the actual roundness you desire. So if you hover back over the center point here and hold spacebar and now change the target to ring, if I come back over this point and click and drag, I will ring that actual point and generate new topology around the edges. So using this split point to set our starting circular shapes, and then refining it with ring will allow us to get different divides of that actual cylinder or circular geometry. So if I keep coming back and applying this ring a few more times, you'll notice that the actual circle aspect of this ring is now refined to a smoother shape and all the geometry corresponding with that is being tapered down to the points along that actual polygon. There's also a few modifiers that correspond to the actual ring target. So we have a crease option, which will determine the actual edge creasing around the shape, just like in the actual point target. We have the polygrouping options for regroup ring and do not regroup. And then we have an option called equalize. Now the equalize function will actually come through and instead of actually smoothing out the geometry on these areas as that ring is applied, so if I just click and drag, you see how this is now a smooth area. If I come through here and I turn on do not equalize and then apply that actual split ring, it's going to keep that kind of harsh edge on those areas as it generates that new divide. So this may be wanted if you're working on like really low polygonal models and you actually need to actually keep those harsh edges, but you want that actual edge area to be split. So just changing this slider down here will determine how that actual smoothing will be applied when you actually apply the ring target to that actual split point. Now these split actions and their corresponding targets make it really nice to come through with the actual replay option as well with the actual Z modeler brush. So you can come through and actually generate the same size holes everywhere on your mesh and then you can use options like Q mesh with polygroup all to actually come through and start generating holes into the surfaces of your geometry.